What's up guys? Mr. Seward here, your DDP teacher. And today we're going to be talking about circles and ellipses. So here is the uh, Word document, 2D sketching document, and I'm going to read through this. It says create a new part studio, which you should have done already, but if you didn't, you can do that now. Uh, you're going to name it, by the way, circle and ellipse. And you're going to use the circle and ellipse sketching tools to replicate the figure shown below. You're going to label the images as shown using the text tool. Note that you're going to need to use the line tool to first create the straight lines in order to create the tangent circle. So I am going to go into my on shape and I'm going to start a sketch. And you can see I'm working on, get rid of this, I'm working on my circle and ellipse uh, right now. So I put my new sketch on the front plane and I'll go to the word front there. And the first thing is I have to draw a line from uh, the top of this box to the bottom of this box. So Alexa, stop. So that gives me that one of those vertical lines or one of these lines that are right here. And then we're going to want to do a horizontal line right across. Now I'm going to show you a different type of line just so that you know what it is and how to draw it. Uh, but it's this tool right here. And I'm just going to click on that first. It's called the construction tool. So I'm going to put on construction and then I'm going to hit line. So this is a little bit of a modifier. Uh, I think I can do that in the opposite direction. I can click on line and then hit the construction tool. I can. I'll come down here and I'll get on that line. And you can see the difference between the construction line now. It's a long line and a dash and a long line. And uh, we will use construction lines at another point in time to do this uh, some drawing sketches. So anyway, center point circle. All right, so here is where the circle command lives. Uh, right now I have the ellipse tool uh, visible, but if you're coming into the menu, you'll see it look just like this. It's a circle with a dot on it. So I'm just going to put a click here, and uh, then I'm going to bring this out. And then I can change this diameter. And it doesn't matter what you put in here for a diameter. I'm going to make mine 1.5. I can continue to add circles. I can make circles that are bigger, uh, 2.25, or I can draw a circle center point that's smaller. And uh, if I hit, uh, if I accidentally don't dimension that, I can use my dimensioning tool and click on that, and I'll put in a dimension of one, and that's a diameter. This, this little circle with a slash to it means diameter in engineering language. So that's the first one. The next one we're going to draw is called a uh, tangent circle. So I'm going to start my line tool, and I'm just going to kind of replicate what's in that picture there that you have. Okay, and I'm purposely making it like this. Whoops, come on. There we go and I'll escape. So I'm going to start with the circle tool and I'm going to actually click on one called three point circle. So I'll select that. Now I'm going to come out and I'm just going to pick three points on this line or on these lines. So I just chose those three points, but this doesn't look like our uh, picture does here yet but I have uh, something to show you. So I'll press escape a couple times and we're gonna go up to these things right here. And these are uh, constraints, we call them. And I'm gonna select this one. It looks like a circle with a line. It's called tangent. And I'll zoom in on this so you can see what happens here. So I'm gonna click the circle and then the line. And you see the circle comes down and now it gets to what we call an intersection point right there. And then I'll click on the circle and the line, and the circle and the line, and it moved the line out, but that's okay. Everything is tangent now. So if I want to make three line or a circle that's tangent to three lines, that's how you do it. You can use the constraint to uh, make it uh, 
constrained to the uh, to the lines. Okay, the last one is going to be the ellipse tool. And again, that's under circle. So I'm going to click on ellipse. And the first point I'm going to pick is the center of it. And I'm going to draw this out. And you can see a little construction line, a little yellow construction line when it's going perfectly horizontal. And I'm just going to click. Then I'm going to go vertically. And uh, this first axis, I'm going to make this dimension 1.5. That's called the major axis. And then the second axis going vertically is called the minor axis because it's shorter. I'm going to make that distance 0.5. Now, I can also, by the way, draw ellipses on angles. So I can do the same thing here. I just clicked and put my major axis in, click and put my minor axis in. I'll give them the numbers and uh, 0.5 for this one. So I can draw them at angles also. Back to our Word document. Okay, the next tool that we're going to learn is called uh, polygons, regular polygons. So I'm going to highlight that, right-click, copy. I'm going to come back out to my on shape here. I'm going to go to the little plus sign. I'm going to hit Create Part Studio. And where it says Part Studio 1 here, I'm going to right-click, say Rename, and then I'm going to paste in regular polygons, and that gets us ready for our next sketch.